Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today we're going to be looking at the 2018 governor elections based off primary turnout in each state. Obviously, some states do not have primaries yet or no primary data for either political party. So I will not be character I will not be characterizing those races with leaning, likely, or safe, but using the tilt column based off the pro rating from multiple political pundits. So this map is actually very interesting considering some states you might not expect to be in some party column. And it's also pretty interesting compared to the current composition of governors nationwide. Right now, we start off with 33 Republicans, 16 Democrats, and one Independent. And also, don't forget to check out my Senate video where I did this scenario in the United States Senate. And speaking of the Senate, we're going to start off with the Senate states and then move into the rest of the governor elections. Because again, um, I'm doing this, uh, not really again, I didn't say it the first time, but I'm doing this, I guess, just how I want to do it, I guess. So we have seven Democrats, seven Republicans. Let's start off with the safe Democratic states. And here's not that much. I mean, that is a shocker for the governor races, but not for the state of Maryland itself. Maryland goes in the safe Democratic column based off primary turnout, along with the state of Connecticut. Yes, that is Connecticut. For the first time, I've gotten that one correct. New Jersey is not on this map, so that one is not to be too uh discussed really nevada sorry whoa when did i start thinking that was nevada new york goes into the democratic column also i apologize about this video getting out at like 10 15 if it even gets out by then but we have 10 democrats now new york goes to the democrats based off turnout vermont as well which currently has a republican incumbent again another state uh, that could be a little bit shocking and maine as well going into the safe democratic column again another interesting thing there over in minnesota another safe state for the democrats based off primary turnout and then we go over to uh new mexico and hawaii so pretty much 15 democrats and seven republicans uh, around the same numbers as what we see on the current map let's go over to the likely democratic states so wisconsin which doesn't seem a little uh off compared to where we see it before so unfortunately i do not have yeah i do not have the toss-up uh characterization on my screen 100 percent. so i'm gonna have to readjust it there and now we can move back and find the likely characterization and wisconsin goes into the likely democratic column based off turnout and West Virginia does as well, but West Virginia is not having a governor election until 2020. Pennsylvania goes into the leaning Democratic column along with Michigan. Keep in mind, these are the three states that Donald Trump won that landed him the presidency back in 2016. So uh, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania all go to the Democrats, now improving their numbers from 16 to 18, but we're not done just yet. Now for the tilt Democratic column, Nevada tilts by a mere 4,000 votes. The Democrats got 144,000 votes here and the uh, GOP 140,000, but in the Senate it was even closer, decided by 1,000 votes, but still going to the Democrats, a tilt Democratic state by that characterization. But now we can go ahead and look at the safe Republican states. So let's go ahead and start off in Tennessee, a safe Republican state, um, Mississippi, not on this map. Uh, neither is North Dakota or Montana, but Wyoming and Nebraska pretty much are, and those states are pretty much solid for the GOP in every election. And Texas, I'm actually going to start characterizing as a safe GOP state, even in a regular um, governor prediction. And then California, whoa, 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 whoa. And then California, which uh, right now has uh, Gavin Newsom, is pretty much a safe Democratic state in terms of turnout amongst the Democrats. So California goes to the Democratic Party. So now we can go down to the likely uh, GOP states, and pretty much the only one on this, the only two on this map are Ohio and Arizona, both of which are likely for the GOP, which doesn't seem too impossible for Arizona, but Ohio, probably a little less probable. And then for the leaning GOP states, Missouri, which is not on the map, but Florida, which is a very interesting thing, which actually could be a new characterization depending on who the, well, looking at the new nominee, um, based off, I guess, uh, based off the state of Florida itself, it could possibly tilt towards the GOP a little bit more, mainly because uh, Florida isn't too fond of progressives. If you look at the 2016 Democratic primary, keep in mind this progressive, not really progressive, not self-proclaimed Democratic Socialist, but backed by Bernie Sanders. He won this nomination by 1% over what Bernie Sanders got in 2016 when Hillary Clinton won to uh, two-thirds of the vote in Florida in the Democratic primary. But let's go ahead and take a look at some other safe Democratic states. So Illinois pretty much expected a uh, safe Democratic state in presidential elections, but currently has a Republican incumbent. But here's a big one. Iowa goes into the safe Democratic column. For some reason, there were more Iowa Democrats who voted in the primary uh, by a considerable amount. So Ohio, that's not Iowa, sorry, um, pretty much the, both, both of them vote the same way in every election season, but Iowa goes towards the Democrats in the safe column. As for the likely Democratic states, we have two of them, Colorado and Oregon, which isn't too unexpected considering both of them are expected to go to the Democrats at the end of the evening. And then in the tilt, uh, sorry, leaning Republican column, we have the state of Georgia, which is pretty much expected. And then Oklahoma goes into the likely uh, GOP column, which also was a little bit of a shocker considering how Republican of the state it was. And then Alabama, South Carolina, Arkansas. Um, I do not believe 
yes, actually Kansas, South Dakota uh, as well, which doesn't have any primary data. So I'm actually going to put that one in the tilt GOP column and explain why in just a moment. Uh, Idaho and Alaska. And then we can go up to the Northeast. And this is the, these are the states that also did not have primary data. So right now, Rhode Island um, going to the tilt Democratic column based off the pro rating, which is why I put South Dakota in the tilt GOP column based off the pro rating uh, from multiple political pundits. Massachusetts goes into the tilt Republican column. Uh, a column based off uh, political pundits rating and then along with New Hampshire which gives the GOP 25 total seats so pretty much that finishes off our map with 25 Democrats and 25 Republicans a lot more blue on that map than you see here a lot more red here boom a lot more Democrats on this map so 25 Democrats 25 Republicans has how we finish off our map thank you guys for watching this video comment down suggestions below and I'll see you all tomorrow